Hi guys. Today I'm talking about the Big Bang Theory. I'm here to debunk the deep, the Big Bang Theory. But first of all, what is a theory? A theory is an idea or a group of ideas that is brought together to form a hypothesis to explain unknown things or the unknown. How do you construct a theory? A theory, before it's constructed, you need a premise to construct a theory. You need certain laws or rules and reg re regulations or something to base the theory upon. For example, the theory of evolution was developed after Darwin saw similarities between species. So he made the assumption of evolution. He never really said that it was evolution. It was just assumption. So the theory of evolution is built on the premise of similarities. Now, the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory, what's the Big Bang Theory? The Big Bang Theory is a dot exploding and forming the universe and everything that is here at present. That's what the Big Bang Theory is. What is the premise for the Big Bang Theory? The premise is that dots explode and create universes. Now, based on the premise of the Big Bang Theory, you can analyze and know what would the Big Bang Theory produce or what type of laws that would be present in the realities that the Big Bang Theory would produce with its premise. And the main law would be that dots explode into universes. So that's the premise. Now we have a universe here, we have the earth here, and everything that's on it. And they also have a premise governing the whole earth and the universe. The premise states that construction and laws sustain everything. For example, in the universe, outside of our our um, planet the earth there are laws magnetic laws a gra laws of gravity different other laws that keep the earth revolving around the sun that keep the planets at a particular distance from one another and Basically, everything has its limit as to where and what it, where it can go, what it can do. And even though so, during, during lifetimes things will happen, but generally it will not be an everyday occurrence because of the laws, which I call the premise of the universe. Now, the premise of our universe is that for things to appear, it has to be constructed. The premise of the Big Bang Theory says that for things to appear, it has to explode from a dot. When you compare these two premises, you can realize that they are opposites in nature. One. With the Big Bang Theory, dots explode to, pro to um, make things appear. With the, with the um, premise of our universe, or what I could call the theory of our, our universe, things are constructed for them to appear. So, after analyzing these two theories, 
I begin to wonder how is it that scientists could come up with the idea that the Big Bang produce all what that is here? Because the premise of the Big Bang produces a different reality for its um, construction than the premise of our present universe. And the reality is totally opposite. For example, if you was living in a world where the Big Bang, which the Big Bang had created, you would have to be looking for different dots to explode, to make different things happen, to make buildings, to make forests, to make basically anything you needed to make happen, the premise of making it happen or constructing it would have to be a process of explosion. While in our universe, when you want to make things happen, you have to collect, put things together, and then gradually build it up to make it what you want to be. So how was scientists able to take these two premises and then come up with the idea that the Big Bang created the universe? That is beyond me. I just cannot I cannot put these things together to understand. What I realize is that the Big Bang Theory, it is an agendized theory. It does not have no realistical premise and it is just not possible for one to look at the two premises and consider that the Big Bang ever happened. Now, scientists, as I know, are governed not only by the laws of science, but the, by the laws of their pay packet. Scientists will come up with all kinds of jackass theories in order for them to suit their masters or whatever agenda they want to please. And as far as I can see, that is the whole reality of the situation. That is just, the Big Bang Theory is just an agendized theory and scientists, that the scientists that push that theory Basically, they do it to support their pockets because it has no basis in reality. The Big Bang Theory, the premise of the Big Bang, and the premise of the present reality we have there is totally opposed to each other. And the premise and the Big Bang, it just could not have produced even though scientists try to construct and say, well, things had to cool down and, and after things cooled down, then things started to happen. All that is just imagination working. And imagination cannot produce anything for you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.